Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Big Beard. So, uh, this technically isn't a donation. It is the very first time that I'm reviewing that I can think of the original Crown Royal Fine Deluxe Blended Canadian Whiskey on the channel. So, for a long time, I refused to do it. I wouldn't even buy a bottle. I did buy the other two. Uh, The other two versions, the uh, Mesquite, Texas Mesquite, which is not good at all, <laughs> and the uh, Bourbon Mash, which was pulled off the shelves due to the issue of having bourbon on the label. So, this bottle was taxed because it was left at my house, and there was about an ounce and a half left in it. So, uh, this one was kindly taxed from uh, the OG bearded idiot patron drunk Jenny uh, who's uh, the wife of a good friend of mine Mr. Stephen Latham who comments on the channel from time to time I'm sure he'll see this one and uh, send it to his wife and we'll all get a good kick out of it man it smells just it smells just like TX blended whiskey it's just all vanilla Yule Vanilla. What is it, Bonnie? Mm -hmm. It just smells sweet. It's just a sweet blended Canadian whiskey. And honestly, I can't tell much difference between this, the TX Crown blended whiskey, or the Texas Crown blended, um, and then the actual TX brand blended whiskey, which is a blend of Texas and Canadian whiskey. drinks like water I don't know why so quick story yeah. why? Um, when I was in the mil will you quit pawing at my calf when I was in the Marine Corps I would used to I got a lot of tattoos while I was in I know y'all seen them on my chest and whatnot before shoulders um, but I got a lot of tattoos out of a friend's house while I was in the Marine Corps that friend's name is Nicholas Hewitt good friend of mine I hadn't seen him in god 15 years or more i keep in contact with him on the facebook's but i hadn't seen him in person for a while uh, probably shit probably since i got out of the military so 15 16 years it's been a long time um but we became really good friends we we became friends and then i got shifted over to his shop so we worked together he was my sergeant for a while uh, and he did tattoos out of his house South Carolina at that time tattoos were illegal in the state so you had to go either to North Carolina or Georgia uh, so we'd go to his house and all I would do he said don't worry about paying me because he was still kind of practicing at the time he said just bring over a bottle of Crown Royal and that's what I did. So I got a lot of tattoos for several bottles of Crown Royal. And I remember back in the day, I was 21, 22 years old. 22, 23. I remember back then that we would take a shot and immediately chase it with mountain dew or sprite or something like that it was a green bottle i think it might have been sprite but we immediately chase it and i wish i guess hindsight's 2020 because like this is totally easy to drink i don't even know why people put coke in it i mean because they like whiskey flavored coke uh, but yeah this is like there, there's nothing to this i guess that's uh that's maturity talking for you 
but yeah so we would uh i'd pick up a bottle of crown and we'd go over to the i'd go over to nick's house and we'd commence to taking shots and doing tattoos and several of my tattoos bled out really bad because we got so damn drunk Hmm. I remember one time, one of the more vivid memories, we were both hammered, and I've got a tattoo right here. Actually, it's not a Sportster motor, but I've got a, a Harley Davidson Panhead motor on my stomach, and he was doing the tattoo, doing the outline of it, and he got so drunk, he f passed out while he was doing it, fell asleep. And uh, I had to slap him in the face. He was he was pretty drunk. I think he was more drunk than I was. But oh well, that's what happens when you're young, dumb, and in the military. You do stupid shit. <laughs> Amen to stupid shit. So yeah, this is super easy to drink. Throw an ice cube in it, it'd be like drinking sweet water. I mean, it's comparable to Jameson in my opinion. And I might get some backlash out of that, but it is what it is. So, I think that's all I got. Quick story, quick review, Crown Royal. It's easy to drink. I mean, I'm not going to buy it. I'll buy Wild Turkey because it's cheaper and it's got more alcohol in it. So, that's all I got on this one. Uh, the infamous Crown Royal in the purple bag. The velvety purple bag. So, don't forget, check the description below for all the links to help out around here. I got the Patreon down there. You can sign up, donate money, and uh, I, I try to do a giveaway every month. If not, I, I usually let people pick out of my stash. Um, if I don't find something neat, I'll let somebody pick a few samples. Um, but also have the uh, Tattered Beans account down there if you like coffee, if you like supporting veterans. Go over there, order a bag of coffee from me. Uh, I get a uh, portion of the proceeds. Just enter Red Beard Coffee at uh, checkout for the promo code. And Teespring. Got some shirts down there. Order a shirt. Help, me, help support me that way. So That's all I got. Don't forget to check out the Bearded Idiots. Like always, don't drink and drive. Be safe. Have fun with it. Drink some whiskey. Share with your friends and family. Take care. Y'all have a good night. And down the hatch. Yeah, I don't even know why I needed a chaser. That's ridiculous. <laughs>